Hello, this is Ivo and this is Rapid Fire Questions with Mohamed. Thank you so much for being here, Ivo. Can you first get us started with describing what a financial engineer is? Awesome. So there are many aspects of being a financial engineer, but basically what you're trying to do is model any financial instrument in a way that solves a problem. Just by the definition of being an engineer, you turn different aspects of a problem and think them truly to be able to find with an optimal solution. A financial engineer looks at different financial problems. The one I focus on is the currency markets. These currency markets are modeled under my own aspects of how I think the market works. So basically what you're trying to do is build a model based on your ideas and your assumptions to be able to profit from it the best way possible. All right. For the second question, what were some of your tasks as a market analyst at Vickers Venture Partners? Awesome. So I worked in Vickers Venture Partners in my, as an internship during after my freshman year. After this course, I had good grades and thanks to connections and networking, I was able to land a job as indeed an analyst at Vickers Venture, which is a venture capital firm. Once I got there, I got, um, I got a, to get a glimpse of what working 9 to 5 was and I realized that it's a lot of putting hours and working in, through papers. My tasks were analyzing uh, startup trends. Basically, what were the people in Southeast Asia working on during that time? What, what, what was working, what wasn't? Then I also went through a bunch of Excels, looking at numbers and seeing how to ensure a better growth for the company as a whole. I also had the opportunity to read about trading uh, back then. That's when I actually got into trading. So it was there when I saw what eventually would become my passion. What were some of the things that you did well while starting your own business? So when you start your own business, you're going to see yourself working your ass off all the day. And in order to do so, you got to absolutely love what you're doing. The best part of building my own business is that I am doing what I love to do and what I'm thinking about during the whole day. So then I just get back to my drawing board and code whatever I, I feel like is appropriate for that day. Building, being able to love what you, lo what you do is important, but definitely building a team that can back you up is as important. Um, the team that I've built here at Algo Bank has allowed me to cover all the skills that I don't have and bring extra value to the table. Because at the end of the day, five scientific minds are better than just one. All right, Eva, what about some of your biggest mistakes that you came across while starting your own business? Awesome. So I'm currently involved in my second startup. Most of the mistakes that we made were in my first startup. Basically, what happened there was that there was no clear direction. There were several members of the team and they were all pushing for different objectives. So at the end of the day, nothing really got done. When you start a company, it's really important to be focused. And once you do something, be fully aware of why are you doing it. Then it's also very important to anticipate results. Because if you think that you're going to do great at the first time, you're absolutely wrong. You're going to fail and you're going to have to build upon that. It's a cycle. Build, measure, learn. And being able to apply all your knowledge throughout to be able to finally achieve your best result that will not come as fast as people tend to think. Ivo, what advice would you give to anyone interested in starting their own business? Starting your own business requires a lot of determination and being able to strive the whole day. So if I were to recommend someone who's starting a business, I would say first, you gotta work on your personal development. You gotta make sure that you have all the skills necessary to be able to succeed in the long run. And this comes from learning the skills that you lack and improving the skills that you already possess. Then, once you're already more personal developed, you can find absolutely what you love the most. This is the crucial part, because if you don't love what you do, you won't be able to pull 16, 18 work, 16, 18 hour work days, which are essential to be able to build a startup. What would you say some of the characteristics are that entrepreneurs should have? Definitely to be a complete entrepreneur, you have to have a bunch of skills that, of course, it'll be awesome to have all of them, but you not necessarily need them all to be able to succeed. Honestly, along my path so far, I realized that there are five most important skills to be able to go through the path. The first one, I would say, is grit. You have to be able to stay there and work and persist and persist all day long if you want to reach somewhere, which comes very closely related to the second one, which is determination and being able to be confident on the decisions that you make to go through the path the way that you think it should be crossed. Then, you have to be aware of what's going on. You gotta see global trends, you gotta see what is the competition doing, and you gotta be able to understand what your niche is to be able to succeed in the best way possible. Then, we bring up to more like social skills. In order to be able to really go through your business, you gotta have persuasion skills. 
because by persuading people to work with you and for persuading people to use your product is how you will actually succeed in the long run. Finally, and probably the most important, you have to be fully, fully passionate about what you do. You're gonna spend a lot of time doing it and there's gonna be a lot of frustration. And if you're not fully into it and you're fully passionate about it, it will be harder than if you truly are. All right, Ivo, to wrap this up, what would you say is the number one thing you can do in your free time? The way you spend your free time will be the direction that your life will take. See, it's by reading where you'll gather much more knowledge than what you currently have and be able to learn about stuff that just seems so out from you right now. Um, by reading, you're able to find your passion. You're also able to develop personally. And if that wasn't enough, you can gather skills that you just don't have and improve skills that you are already great at. See, you will see how reading book by book, you will expand your brain to horizons that you never thought were possible.